I don't know. I'm just going to talk about things made in the past. You know what I love about about these kind of cool things? Look, look at this motor. I mean, look at just how wonderful it's made. And you know what I love is, is that someone made that. They made that with hands and tools. And so I can do it. I can fix it. And I can make it. Even if parts are missing, I'll make it. And, and, and look, look, look at these bearings that circulate oil and, and just are made to last forever. What a concept. No, no obsolete. These things were made and when they sold them, they said, you know what, this is a good deal. And you know, you find off the shelf old stock, look at this, 1920 stock for parts that are missing. Okay, for those following on the uh, Century Rotary Start Induction Run Motor, I'm working on rebuilding the brush cage, which is casted out of solid copper. I did find out that the date 1903 last on this patented. Uh, the next patents are 1914 and 1915. And so this, this is a very early example dating between those two. Now, uh, this part was missing, plus the gib screw and the grip holders and the brush holders. I managed to find those on eBay for a different century motor, so I had to do some machining. And it works, so now I have to make up the rest of these brushes, which are for another motor. But that's why you go to an old motor repair shop and ask him to have all the used brushes. Okay, now if you watched my feed today, you see how I've just, uh, I just JB welded two of those brushes together. Of course I milled them on the mill. If you're not acquainted with JB weld, it's a metal, uh, it's a metal powder epoxy. Uh, this is quick set. Uh, if you're not acquainted with JB Weld and you're fixing stuff, get acquainted. Should be. Okay, so the brushes that I found on uh, at my motor shop were only one inch brushes, probably for a one horsepower motor. Mine need to be an inch and a half. Now you notice I left a little copper lead on. Now if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, that little wire that goes into the into the carbon brush is your conductivity and so I left it on milled if you can see so when I glue it there okay so I'm going to glue these on surface that and now I have to increase the depth but I'll probably just do that with little pieces of wood that'll allow the spring to use up the carbon brush hope it works now you're probably asking, what the hell am I even listening to this cuckoo clock for? But perhaps you got an old motor that has a brush you can't buy anymore. Here's how you fix them, see? Okay, there it is, eh? Look at that, eh? Look at that. Look at how nice that moves. Now, I'm not going to like my own post, but if I was going to, I probably would on this one. That's perhaps going to work. Now watch, with my luck, the motor windings will be better. Okay, moment of truth. I'm actually going to reassemble this. Got all my brushes moving. Now, if you haven't followed me, you'll know that I actually made those brushes. The, they're non-existent. This is a 1914 motor and uh, I made it out of old motor brushes and you can see I added a little bit of wood at the bottom just to let those springs push up. Uh, I found these parts, believe it or not, that, that were from a different type of motor but I machined them to fit. So I'm going to stick this on. I need everybody on Instagram to wish me luck. This motor has probably never run in about 60 years and parts were stripped and missing so hopefully she runs crossing my fingers 
I'll send a video if it works. Okay, what we got here is a 19, last patent date, 1903. I've got it to a point where I can check it out. Has no signals for the brushes. I have a beer there if it runs because uh, this thing's risen from the dead if you've been following me. Look at that. Oh, you can smell the ozone. Shutting it off. Friggin' cool as hell. Cool as hell. Unbelievable. Guys, it's friggin' alive! So I did paint the end bells because it was a real greasy mess and I'm really only running it uh, with a little bit of uh, lubrication. This little ring pulls up out of a well and lubricates.